welcome back to my channel. Welcome if it's your first time on my channel. I'm so excited to be back. My name is Layla McDiva and this is my life update video. It's been actually a long time since I filmed something and I really wanted to get back to it because I really have been missing this feeling and the whole process and I just really wanted to sit down and explain what has been going on. If you're following me on my Instagram, then you know that I got married and even by the title of this video, now you know that I got married. And on June 21st, I got married and it's been incredible. And in today's video, I wanna talk about all the news and I wanna share with you my plans and what has been going on and you know, all of it. And for that, I will need a few videos actually to be more specific about all the changes. But in this video, I'll be more, you know, broad and like will tell you what has been going on since I shared with you guys the last news. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Okay, so in this video, I will specifically be talking about my civil wedding experience and sharing with you how it was and showing you pictures and talking about it. But I also want to um share other news as i said so first one in june i went the blondest shade of blonde that i have ever been and i think that's the news itself that's like really cool news and since my channel is about me my fashion choices my beauty choices then this is really big news you know uh but to be honest uh, june was really crazy because news number two is that i quit my job i actually quit my job two months ago but because i lived in prague czech republic for four and a half years so i lived in prague and i was following czech law and czech law requires you to work two more months after you quit your job so i quit in april but i had to work up until the end of june um but i took kind of like unpaid vacation for the end of june because i had to move and it's really it's such a long story a lot of things were going on and i just really i don't know like i feel like overwhelmed right now and i want to just share everything and i don't know where to begin and what to say because to be honest for the whole year i wasn't sharing with you guys anything i only uh, shared my engagement and i didn't tell you where i was working what i was doing like i was sharing that on my instagram but on my youtube channel i wasn't and i was not as active and i was not sure if i want to keep doing youtube or not and there were a lot of things and i just didn't feel like sharing my personal life with you guys and i was sharing but just a little bit so i feel like that's why right now i feel overwhelmed because i'm ready to talk about all the things and to share with you all the stuff and i'm like where to begin uh but i feel like it's fair to start with my wedding because you know it's such a huge step in my life it's life-changing experience and i cannot believe it actually happened and you know just sharing with you this like i really want to share it and so yeah, news number two is that I quit my job and I, news number three, three, I moved from Prague, Czech Republic to Ljubljana, Slovenia and I am, um, I cannot believe that happened. I did not expect this to happen. Of course, this was my decision and we talked about it with my husband and it was my call to actually come here and i'm gonna talk about it more in other videos i don't want this video to be one hour long because that's how long it's gonna be probably if i'll start talking about all those news uh so yes i moved to Ljubljana to Slovenia and you know the craziest thing is that a year ago i did not know anything about Slovenia and i didn't share with you a lot about my personal life and my relationship with my husband, how we met and all of that, but I really think one day I'll be able to uh, share that with you and maybe with him. I don't know if I will be able to ask him to make a video with me, that would be awesome. And to share with you actually how we met, how it's been, uh, but I can tell you we have been in a long distance relationship for a year and we got engaged after like I think, I don't know, eight months or seven months of being in a relationship, I think like eight months. So, uh, for some people it's, it's really fast, but for us, we were ready, we wanted to be together, and, 
you know, we, we knew what we were doing. So uh, as my husband is Slovenian, I was living in the Czech Republic, but nothing was holding me there. So I just decided to move to Slovenia because right now for his career, uh, he has to be here and I'm, I was willing to come here and to support him and to build our future together. So for me, it, it is a huge step, but honestly, it was so natural for me to just follow my heart and to come uh, to be with the person I love the most and to be happy. And I know I'm a very romantic person, but I really am someone who is living by her heart and it wasn't it didn't take a long time for me to say i'm coming to slovenia so i moved to slovenia now and i'm living here and news number four i got married so yes um surprise you didn't know right uh but yeah i got married as i said on june 21st so we decided to um you know kind of have two weddings so first to have civil wedding and then to have actual wedding celebration and some people were asking me why so so let me explain to you as i said our relationship it was a long distance relationship and i'm not a european citizen so i can't easily move around europe and be like okay i'm moving to slovenia now it was easy for me but there were a lot of bureaucratic things and one of them is that I couldn't just move to Slovenia like without a reason like I couldn't just be like I'm in love I'm moving that would be awesome but we had to have you know legal stuff done so therefore as we got engaged we started thinking and you know we decided that I'm moving to Slovenia and for that of course we had to speed up the wedding uh, more legal part of it so that's why we decided to just go to administrative unit here in Ljubljana and to sign the papers and just to be married legally so that um, the government officials will let me come to Slovenia and be with my husband. Um, and to be honest, as we got engaged in March and where we had our civil wedding in June, of course, to have so little time to just organized the main wedding that would not be possible as I was still living in Prague and I just moved here basically right when we had our civil wedding so I couldn't just arrange the wedding while working in Prague and being there and then you know there, there was so much stress with my work uh, and that's why we decided that main wedding will happen next summer to have one whole year to prepare for it to you know organize everything and i know for some people it doesn't matter like civil wedding is enough and i think it's up to everyone to decide whatever works for them but for me personally i want to have the big wedding i mean not like big wedding you know not like 100 people it actually will be like a small wedding according to people's standards but for us like after civil wedding that will be the main wedding so to invite my friends and family and obviously my husband's friends and family and to unite you know two families and to have this big celebration and for me to wear my dream wedding dress i actually never been one of those girls who dreamed about wedding and like knew exactly what kind of dress she will wear but I love fashion, I love style and for me like the whole aesthetic part of wedding um, I just always wanted to you know have a chance and opportunity to create my own fairy tale and to create my own you know important event of my life and that's the reason why I really want to have the wedding celebration because I am into like creating the wedding and um, civil wedding was just as I said for us to um, have the document that lets me be with my husband for us not to go through a long distance relationship one more year and uh, you know I'm so happy that we did that and I know for a lot of people that's really confusing but for us it, it was a natural decision and there is nothing confusing about it so our civil wedding was really quick it took like 30 minutes for us to get married and after that we you know had champagne and some fruits and then we went out with friends well we went for the lunch with friends and then later we went out with friends so it was just a small group of people with us it was really low-key nothing special but i think from the pictures on instagram it looks like 
it was an actual wedding and I had to write uh, on my Instagram as well that it was just the civil wedding and we cannot wait to have the actual wedding next summer because I I feel like I need to explain this because when next year there will be the wedding and people will be like again like how many weddings can you guys have honestly we were working more on bureaucratic process and we didn't have a lot of time energy or effort uh, being put into the civil wedding honestly everything mostly was organized by my mother-in-law to whom I'm extremely grateful and she just organized everything you know she was like you need bouquet you need flowers you need this you need that I just only uh, you know, all I did was I bought my dress, I bought my shoes, I got my hair done, I did my makeup by myself, by the way. And the same, my husband, he, you know, he bought the suit, the, um, what is this thing, the shirt. So we were just ready, uh, but we didn't work on, you know, organizing everything. It was organized by my mother-in-law. So she was so amazing and I'm, I have to include her in this video just because she did everything and I'm so happy and so grateful and I'm so lucky to have such a supportive mother-in-law and just family from my husband's side because I think you always want to have a great relationship with your husband's family because it's your family now as well and as you're marrying the man, you're also marrying the family so you know, it was so important for me to have great relationship and it's always gonna be important for me to have great relationship with his parents and you know, I respect them, I love them so um, just in case she's watching this, I'm so grateful and I'm so happy that was organized by her because um, we were really trying to keep it low-key and I think it was low-key but it looks like it was the real wedding just because we looked so beautiful <laughs> so now that I moved to Slovenia, we're still working on my visa uh, to be completely honest with you guys, we're working on my visa uh, hopefully I'll get it we really hope so because I got married so now it's only fair for me to be able to be with my husband um, I'm definitely planning to make a video about a long distance relationship and just to share with you how it's been and to give some tips for those who maybe are going through it because um, I really love using my personal experience as the content on my YouTube channel like I love talking about things that I have been through because I just love helping people like emotionally to support them and that's why I love making videos I think because uh, it's cool to do makeup tutorials and how to style videos and I really love and enjoy that but I also love talking and I love like being useful to people so that would be so awesome for me to just share that experience so how is married life going? a lot of people are asking me that uh, and you know it's stressful, it's difficult because it's not just that we got married it's just that I moved from one country to another and it's Europe still, but you know, it's different countries and there's Austria between Slovenia and Czech Republic and like, you know, this, it's a lot, like, it's different, it's not like I just moved to another town or city, I moved to another country and I'm still getting used to it, I'm, I, I have some sort of cultural shock, it's not like cultural shock, but like, you know, it's so new to me and I'm still lost and confused, I don't speak the language, my husband does so like I use him as an interpreter but it's still so unusual to me to be a wife and to ask my husband to help me with this or that because I love being independent, I love being free and this is also something I'm getting used to that it's okay to ask for help because it's my husband, it's not just some guy from the street, you know, but I still like, I think any girl that had to learn to be independent and to live on her own, that feels so weird to let it go and let someone take, not control over you, but just take some responsibility for you, you know, and you, I don't know, it really feels weird to me right now, I am super happy though that I am blessed with an amazing husband who is uh, protective and who is taking care of me and who is so loving and I'm so grateful, really. So I don't want to be like, I'm grateful being like, I don't know how not to be independent, but it's really hard. It's really hard to learn not to just be a single person, you know? Um, so I'm still learning. 
uh, it's so new but it's so exciting to work on our home to make the home out of a house that is so important and like you know I lived by myself for four and a half years so almost five years that's a long time and I never wanted to you know make home out of a place because like I was like I'm just renting I'm gonna be gone in some time you know like I never felt this need to actually make a place feel like home it was always just like you know apartment and now I get to create our home where we are happy together and it already feels like home but there is still so much work and we still need to buy some furniture you know to decorate the house and as you can see right now I'm filming in our bedroom and that's our bed behind me and like that's the only spot I could find also if you want to read more about my civil wedding and just like about my feelings about the wedding um, and be married go to my website laylamcdiva.com the link is in the description box always so you can always check my website and please read that post and please know what has been going on and you can check pictures because if you wanted this video to be like civil wedding video specifically and I'm not showing pictures you can just go and check all the pictures follow me on my Instagram so you will know about everything first because if you are already following me on my Instagram then you know that I got married if you are just watching my YouTube channel then it took some time for you to get to know it um, so that's very important and of course a lot of people are asking me right now what am I going to be doing in Ljubljana? Am I just going to be a wifey, a housewife? Um, and I think there's nothing wrong with women who decide to be housewives. You know, you do you queen. That's what feminism is about. I really hate when other people tell women what they need to do and not to do. Like, if you want to be a housewife, girl, you be a housewife. I don't want to be a housewife. I want to be me. I want to continue what I started and my job experience was disappointing and I'll make a video about that specifically but I can tell you that that led me to understand that I just want to focus on fashion journalism, uh, on creative writing, I want to be a freelance journalist slash writer, um, I also want to take YouTube more seriously, I want to make more videos here because I really have a lot of ideas, like the reason why I sat down today I was just like I can't just let those ideas go away, I really need to start making them happen and a lot of things are going on right now so it was really hard for me just to make time to film and to you know arrange everything, to put up the ring light, to put up the camera and just sit down and just tell you what has been going on uh, and also because I was not sharing my life for a year like I did not talk about what's going on in my life and I felt like I forgot how it is and I feel like there's so much inside that I need to speak up about and to let people know what has been going on and even if nobody cares I still want to talk about it because it's my channel and I want to create my own art and I want to be my own person so I'm gonna be sharing that, okay? I've never tried freelance writing, freelance journalism, that's why I am so excited and scared but I am very determined to stick to it and I wanna uh, be my own person but I'll be talking about it and sharing that with you guys in other videos uh, so therefore stay tuned for videos about my disappointing job experience uh, stay tuned for my fashion journalism update video Stay tuned for house tour video because I'm really excited to share with you the final look of the house, you know, and um, I'm really excited about that. I also filmed my moving vlog when I was moving from Prague to Ljubljana, so stay tuned for that because that will be my next video. I also have filmed um, a lookbook, it was like a month ago and I still haven't published it just because I didn't have time to work on my YouTube channel but I'm gonna do that as well so stay tuned for that as well. More style and fashion videos are coming as right now I'm going through this stage where I'm figuring out my style, I don't know who I am, I don't know what to wear and I'm trying to figure it out and I really start feeling this new version of myself more and that makes me really happy and I I will definitely uh, be sharing that journey with you guys and I'm so excited about creating fashion content as well so you know I'm so motivated I'm so inspired I'm so happy I'm so blessed and I just really 
was feeling like sitting down talking and sharing all this positive energy oh and of course as wedding is gonna happen next year i really want to start a wedding series just to you know go through this process of wedding organization um we'll see how it will go but i i really like i want to create i want to show you guys and i want to just keep doing my thing and to share it with you guys so that was my life update video i wanted to share with you the news that i'm married but i also wanted you to know that civil wedding in my eyes wasn't my main wedding but i am married I have two rings now, not just one, so I'm not just engaged, I am married, I'm so happy about it, I'm so excited and I'm so in love and you know I can't believe it happened, I'm really really happy, uh, but I also wanted you guys to know that wedding will happen and I really want to have like wedding video from that wedding you know because i didn't have anyone filming our civil wedding because it was just like you know formality um so yeah i really loved my wedding dress though like um civil wedding dress i'm talking about it on my um post about my wedding day so you can check it out and you will know more how it was the whole process of finding the perfect dress and getting ready for the wedding so if you didn't get a lot of information about civil wedding as you were expecting just go to my post and read it and you will know what happened and you will know what i felt and you will know everything um so i will share with you more stuff guys and i will be as useful as possible so thank you guys so much for watching uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and by the way, I did not change my last name. I am still Layla McDiva. And that is because I just feel like my last name means a lot to me. Uh, I'm the only child and I'm the last person who has McDiva last name. Because my dad only has me, a daughter. so. My kids won't have my last name, they will have my husband's last name. Um, and also I started my own journey of becoming a journalist, you know, I have my degree with my last name, I have my articles with my last name, and I have my YouTube channel with my last name. So I feel like Layla McDiva is my brand, it's who I am, and it means a lot to me. So I really wanted to keep my last name and my husband, for him, it didn't matter at all. So it wasn't even a question. Well, I was kind of questioning that, but I was like, I love my last name. I want to keep it. But what I'm thinking now is that maybe after the main wedding, I might take double last name. So be Megdiva and my husband's last name. So we'll see. Um, I'm still thinking about that. Because like the whole bureaucratic process, I'm so not excited about that. But we'll see. And I will update you on that. So that was Layla McDiva and I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.